I'm Anand. I'm in the DC office. Raj Gupta will speak next. He's also in the DC office, and then Naresh is in our DC office as well. Uh, as far as our offices are spread around the U.S. as well as around the world, and uh, because of the size of the firm, we have about uh, over 300 lawyers all focusing on IP, we break ourselves into different practice groups. So I'm in the mechanical practice group, Raj is in the electrical practice group, and Naresh is in the trademark group. But these groups are really administrative in nature because you'll find, especially if you have opportunity to get to know Raj and myself, our focus is in all technologies. We work in the chemical area, uh, electrical area, medical device, as well as mechanical. But one thing that's consistent in our firm, and hopefully you'll see through today's presentations, is when you think of IP, there are a number of different verticals within IP. Even if you were to put patents and trademarks in the same umbrella, there's the prosecution or obtaining of the trademarks or patents. There are the procedures at the office, whether it's post-grant oppositions. There's also attempts to enter into transactions or monetization of that IP. And then eventually there's litigation. One of the philosophies of our firm, every firm is different. Some firms separate these verticals, and if you're an attorney in a firm, you're only working in one vertical. So all you do is prosecution, or all you do is litigation. Uh, one of the things that is a hallmark of Finnegan is our attorneys work in all of these different areas. And we find that it makes you a better litigator with experience in prosecution. With experience in litigation, you're better in, in uh, obtaining the patents, and with that experience in obtaining a patent, you know better how to challenge or keep a patent valid in litigation. So today, through today's process, what we'd like to do is begin on the patent side. We wanted to have a holistic discussion of value of IP, so we'll start our discussion in patents. Raj and I will address the patents, and then Naresh will pick up with trademarks. And what we'd like to do is, in the past, uh, at the GIPC, we've been coming for many years, and what we uh, did many times in the beginning was uh, jury trials. We would do mock jury trials so you as an audience can see what happens to these patents in the U.S. when you go to litigate them in court. And it's a very eye-opening process in how patents are treated in, in U.S. litigation. And last year we did a panel on patent uh, management and we talked about different management best, best practices. We had uh, in-house counsel from India join us and speak on those best practices. So today we thought the next step in the process is the best practices in extracting value from your patents. So we hope to uh, make it an interactive session. If you have questions as we're going, please ask, but we'll also have an opportunity for questions at the end. Um, one thing I'd like to do, and uh, I didn't tell him this in advance, we're celebrating a few things with our firm this year. This is our firm's 50th anniversary. So that's a big deal for us. But the other thing that we're celebrating this year is one of our colleagues on this panel, Naresh, has just become a partner at the firm. And that's quite an achievement. So this is his eighth day as a partner at the firm. So if you could just join me in, in applauding him for that accomplishment, we're extremely proud. So what you're actually looking at now at this panel is of the 300 or so lawyers, you're looking at the three Indian partners of the firm. Because oftentimes people wonder, is fitting in only Indian attorneys because it's always the three of us coming, right. but it's just that you're seeing the only three Indian partners. So, uh, Naresh, you'd be congratulated on that accomplishment. And Raj, if you're ready to go. Ready to bowl, Raj.